This is, I'm going to call this meeting to order. It is a special call meeting of the Commissioner's Court of Hood County, Texas. Today is Monday, May 15, 2023. It's 10 a.m. We're in the Emergency Operations Center located in 401 Deputy Larry Miller Drive in Redbury, Texas. We are pleased to have with us today Pastor Mike McMahon, who's going to lead us into an invocation here. Pastor McMahon. Pray with me, please. Father, thank you. This is a beautiful day, Lord, and we praise you for it. Thank you that we've come together like this, come together with open minds, with the ideal thought of serving you. So as we go through whatever needs to take place this morning, help us to remember this is your business, it is your county, and it is your money. We have a responsibility to handle it right. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Uh, would you please join me in the pledge? <laughs> <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for the Texas flag. <laughs> under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one, one and indivisible. The first and only item of the <laughs> special meeting today is to discuss and take appropriate action to assign county departments to specific commissioners in preparation for budget hearings and budget development. Ms. Kidd? I'm just holding oh, it down. I thought that you were. This gentleman's going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to pass these out and then uh, get that to the judge. Thank you, Judge. Kevin. Appreciate that. Kevin. He's hiding. All right. It's easy. We talked about this and. Uh, Yes. Prior workshop, and then we talked about it. At, uh, we can't hear you. Yeah. Uh, we switched my turn. Um, we had a workshop, I guess, a month or so ago, where this was one of the agenda items, and um, several folks. We had a lot of discussion about it, and several folks came up and talked about it. And but obviously, at a workshop, we can't make a decision, so put it on the agenda for last court, um, and. Commissioner Eagle had taken a, a stab at kind of breaking up the budget. Uh, we've all, in the meantime, we've all been meeting with individually with the sheriff's department and going through their recommendations for their budget. So that's why that's. So I don't, do you want to say this? I don't mean to be. Talking. You're doing a great okay. job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he um, left that out individually, and then just as he said in court last week, just kind of broke up all the departments, tried to even it out to about $7 million each. But as he said, this is a stab, and we felt like, I think it was a general consensus at the court on Tuesday, that we hadn't had enough time to go through it individually and uh, look at it and make any suggestions that any of us might have. So we just uh, rather than hold up, you know, hold up the uh, budget process and wait until the next court we decided to have a special meeting so here we are so that's the background <laughs> well i'll just throw in that uh for instance just to, on the first page that uh that i put together i put all the constables together because i think they've got you know it's, i think it would be a good idea for uh you know, be able to meet with all of them. I put all the JPs together as a unit. But I'm, you know, if somebody doesn't like that idea, we can switch that up. Um, it's just, this is, again, I put this together randomly. It doesn't make any difference who does what to me. 
and I don't know if Becky's had a chance to look at this. I don't think you told me yesterday you didn't, or Friday that unnecessary. What did she want? It wasn't necessary. You to have her. Your, your budget workbooks. Uh, I received 99% of the budgets. What I didn't receive, I put a note in there. You also have a salary schedule in the back of your books that has the start date of an individual, but it does not have their name, which makes it easier for you to just look at it and say, okay, they've got five years, whatever. And that is the proposed salaries that I've, I've put in off of this page. And that's, that's based on what yes. you just handed us? And I don't have your notebook, so that goes in your notebook. Okay. It's in order. So one thing I would... So this, this is, a, I think, the last one that I got from you. That's what I sent out to all departments. And what you have in your notebook, you have in your notebook, is what they sent back. Here's what we want and here's why. If they did, in fact, include additional information on why they needed more supplies or whatever they needed or the reason for what they wanted to increase, if they put it. So whatever they sent back, I typed in, and it's in your budget notebook. So the one that you just passed out earlier, this is based on last year? That's based on last year, six months worth of this year. So everyone would have an idea of, hey, in six months this year, here's what I spent. Maybe I need to increase it, maybe I don't. They get a full six months worth of expenditures to make decisions on. And I guess the purpose of this, why would you do this? This isn't the way the courts have done it. Have done the budget in the past. I think the intent is that each one of us would spend more time before the budget hearings that are happening in about a month with each of the groups that were assigned to, I guess for lack of a better word, and just get more, rather than trying to cover everything, every um, commissioner cover every department, um, <coughs> that would, each commissioner would have a more in-depth knowledge of those particular areas, and that so that when we come to the budget hearings, in June, at least one of us would have an in-depth knowledge of those departments and could speak more knowledgeable about what that department's asking for, what their experience has been in the past with their budget, why they need certain things. Anyway, I think that's the intent, um, but again, I don't know if Kevin or Jack or Judge wants to chime in. Kevin? Um, I mean, I'm overall in favor of the idea. I like getting in there and, and digging in a little deeper and uh, getting a little more intimately, uh, you know, acquainted with each of them. But uh, yeah. so, yeah. <clears throat> well, do we in the past? I mean, it's a little bit of a departure from what we've normally done. Or what you want with that? The my position is, if I can, as Becky stated in last court, some of them, you know, there's no budget changes in some of the departments. Those departments, you know, we, everybody look, we look at that. If, uh, personally, if I've got a question about somebody, you know, a particular department, I don't care where I fall on this, I'm going to go to that department and I'm going to ask the questions. And I'm going to approach it from that aspect. Because if we're doing our job as stewards of the county's money, we need to look at the whole aspect of it. And not just to focus, in my opinion, not just focus on one specific you know, area. So I mean, that's where I'm at. If I've got a question on you know, Constable's department, I'm going to go there. If i got a question on you know, Jeff and the fire marshal, I'm going to go there. <coughs> Regardless. And that's where I'm going to operate because we, you know, we can look at this what's been put out by Becky versus what we had from last year or what she put out previously a couple of months or so back and we start comparing it and if some of them didn't turn in you know anything then we start asking why so you know, if that's my position is you know as stewards of the taxpayers money you know, we need to be looking at the whole, in my opinion, the whole picture. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to expect. Thank you for saying that. Nothing to exclude any of the commissioners or the judge to do whatever other research they want to do. Obviously, that's our job. 
Now, if any commissioner wants to do any more independent investigation on their own, that's fine. I'm all for that. Please yeah. do so. Right. You know, but I'm going to do my own so I can be familiar with it so I think I understand what the needs are. And I agree with Commissioner Wilson that that's a responsibility that each and every one of us on the commissioner's court has the duty to really examine and give us our best shot on it, even for the JPs. Well, we all turned in, we all turned in our budget proposal to Becky, and y'all all have. <coughs> and so, uh, and I don't, this is maybe stepping on some toes, but I don't think in one meeting, uh, one or two or any commissioners is going to get an in-depth understanding of our offices. So uh, we turned in a we turned in a budget proposal to Becky. She's printed it out for y'all. If y'all if, if y'all have any questions about it, the door of my office is always open, and I am there most of the time. Now sometimes I'm not. I will admit that, but most of the time I am in my office. If y'all have a question about what I've asked for, please come see me. And I don't think that an, I don't think that an additional meeting to talk to talk about what that says, and then someone else come and, and summarize that to the rest of y'all is going to do that much good. So uh, we uh, I've managed to make it through uh, eleven budgets so far, and. Again, I guess I'm going to step on some toes. There ain't nobody come in my office and ask me nothing. That uh, Mr. Eagle come in one time into my office and gave me a civics lesson, and Kevin Kevin has Kevin's come by to visit, and uh, if I, and I may be speaking incorrectly, but to tell you the truth, I don't know that the rest of y'all have ever darkened my door, so. I, uh, you know. Uh, I agree. Not not one person's walked in my office to see what any of my employees do. No one's come in to sit down and look and see what we do on a daily basis. And since I've been here five years, I've said my door's always open. Please come in. Sit in the front. See what we do. Why we do it. I, we do more than half of y'all even know we do. So well, only Jax has cat, asked me a question. Because you run such a smooth office. We Thank haven't had you. any problems. If you'd had some problems, we'd been in your yeah. office. Only you Jack has it. asked me one question. He's the only commissioner that has asked me why I've asked for what I need. No one else has asked me. No one has asked me anything in the five years I've been taken over. That's because you've done a good job. Thank you. And I appreciate no that. And complaints because before you took over, <laughs> trust me, there were quite a few citizens' complaints. Thank you. Yes, sir, I do. But my door's always open. Feel free. I've had one commissioner sit out front and watch the girls. One commissioner. And he's no longer with us. In the county. He's still alive. <laughs> Let me correct that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll correct that. <laughs> but he's the only one that's ever came and sat out front and watched the phones ring and watched the people and the questions. So, yes. Well, he's come over there to protect us. I have to admit, Kevin has come protect us. Yeah. He has done that. And, and Kevin sees the business and Kevin because sees he's it. in our building. Yeah. So I personally do like this idea. The only thing I do, I have not seen the list, but what I heard from Commissioner Eagle was we're grouping JPs and constables together. I think for me, I would like to see more of constable, JP, maybe a different office. So that way you can see the different functions. Mm -hmm. and the different salaries for each person and kind of get an idea of why we're asking for what we're asking for. Mm -hmm. I don't mind because at least that'll pinpoint a commissioner down to come and actually talk to me about it. So, and I do want it to be able to not stand up in court and explain everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and to be able to have someone kind of in my corner, you know, instead of trying to pick out someone, you know, because I, I feel like all of you would go to bat for us. So if we allocate people to certain <clears throat> departments, I feel like it would be beneficial for a lot of us. 
and our employees, and that's my biggest concern this year. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm new to this show, so um, <laughs> it's hard for me to speak, but I do believe, and we've had this conversation, <coughs> most of the commissioners have, let's just say our offices, the Justice of the Peace offices, most of y'all have no <coughs> clue on a day-to-day -day basis what goes on in that office. And until you look and see what our clerks go through every day, the, the diversity of our office is more than any other office in this room. We do so much different stuff. Y'all, as commissioners, need to get a grasp of what's going on in these different offices so y'all will understand our wants and needs, so to speak. Um, it's just, until y'all do that, I don't see how you could really intellectually make a decision without seeing, you know, y'all you, you are looking at a piece of paper and say, well, he's asking for a raise for his clerk. Why? Until you come in and look and see what our clerks are doing, you have no clue. It's just us saying it. Y'all need to see. Anybody else have any comment on this? Yes, sir. Well, for one, I think this is a bad idea for two reasons. For one, can you put it in play? And two, because we, we have something called separation of powers for a reason. So not one person has ultimate authority over some. All right? That's why we, we have a panel of commissioners, so you guys can make an educated decision together. That's good. That's the way it should happen. You shouldn't have one person over, you know, an office. Yeah. Well, they're not really doing one person over a certain office. It's kind of like an advocate from, from for what, office. What I understand, that's what that's what was happening, right? This is just was that the preliminary part? So that when the budget hearing comes, when every it's for two days, mm -hmm. um, every department has a specific time that they come up and present their budget. This is just so that when that happens. We have a more better understanding of what they're asking. And you should have a better understanding of, of, of the departments. You should. But ultimately, having one commissioner over, like, let's say, the, all the commissioners. You know what? You have some, some, some commissioners in this room who have a problem with certain constables. You really think there's not, there's not going to be a bias? Well, it's not eliminating any, any of our voices. We still have the same. Well, that's thing. good. You should. I well, mean, I think the problem is we, have a we voice. can't go from commissioner to commissioner to commissioner personally. We can't go to all of them and talk and speak with them. Why, why can't you? Yeah. I, I why can't you? Have, normally, but I'm, I'm doing whatever, whatever it is y'all want to do. Much. But I have gone to each office when I'm ready to ask for something different or new. I, I, but typically you should not. You should not because you're pulling the court. That's what you're doing. And I don't ask them. I just give them the information. I'm not asking for anything in return. I'm just letting them know, here, here's what I'm going to, you know, here's what I need, and here's why. And that's all I've done. And I, and I usually make an appointment with each one of them, like this football bill stuff, anything I've done different. I've come to them and said individually, and, I, and it, takes, it takes some time. And it takes them running around, but I also don't like to be caught with not knowing what I'm doing or them not knowing what I'm doing. Oh, I understand. So, I mean, I have done that. It's not polling necessarily. It's just giving them the information because I can send it in our office, you know, and, and I, they may get it and set it off on their desk. I know that happens to me. But if I make a personal visit, then I have had FaceTime with them. So I, I, I'm for this. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm going to support whatever because y'all are my bosses, and that's what I've been taught to do is to respect y'all's decisions. But also, I think too that I think it is a department's head's due diligence to make that relationship happen with each one of you. And Lee and I've I've done that when someone comes and says, "Hey, I want to spend fund 55 money. I want to buy this." I said, "Will you inform the court? Don't ask if you can or you can't. Inform them so when you get to court, 
You give them all the information, and you're, there's not a lengthy, drawn-out, not, not an argument, but just a discussion, when they're already informed, they know why you want to buy this, <coughs> and they can decide in court. But I have, on numerous occasions, said inform the court. Don't just let them know what you want to do. So I, and that, that happens a lot. Well, it happens. I lovingly and respectfully refer to that as political day. Because it takes me a day to be able to go around and stop in each office and talk to everybody. Because I would rather go and have that face-to-face -face conversation with each commissioner than to get tore up in court in my 30 minutes when I go up there and ask for something big. But that, I, don't, I don't even see this set up as, as a bad thing. I, I kind of look at it as we're getting a liaison to the commissioner's court, and I don't think it's taking any power away from any particular commissioner exactly. as far as making the decisions on budgets. Just when I go up there and say, okay, here's my budget, and I'm not going to use Kevin because Kevin understands all the fire stuff, but whoever I got short straw and, and drew my name, they would have a deeper understanding of what it is I'm asking for and why, and I would have that liaison in court to say, yeah, I've I've talked to them, I've met with them, I saw this, I, I understand why they're needing it. And I, I don't see it as a bad thing, but I... But don't you want them all to understand? I do. Just go to I, each and, of them? And I, I tell you, even if I had my, my commissioner liaison, if I have that big ask, I'm probably going to go and still meet with each one and explain, hey, the, I think what this is, and I may be wrong, it's just to have a deeper understanding of each department's budget request. I don't think that's going to, if I if I wreck a fire truck and come in and say I need a half million dollars for a fire truck, I'm still going to go to each commissioner in the middle of the year and say, hey, this is what happened, this is why I'm asking, this is what it's going to cost, this is what I've done to, to try to get to this point. Are there any questions? I think it's a work harder, work smarter, not harder approach. I mean, it's not that they're, it's not like they're going to have a say so over what I want or do. It's just that they're going to spend, they're going to look at all of it because they, that's what they're charged to do. But then they're going to take time to the ones that they're assigned and really have a better understanding so that we have someone that we can talk to and have a better understanding. It's kind of like, I mean, I come from the education world. When they started departmentalizing different things, it's because you've got to work smarter and not harder. And this is a more cooperative effort in my opinion. I, I truly believe, I mean, there's weeks where I don't even know if I'm coming or going between commissioners yep. court and payroll, so I don't have time to sit down two hours with each commissioner. Yeah, because, yeah, because if you're having to do that with each commissioner, I mean, I, I only go to the commissioner if I need something different with something going on, and it's a 15, 20 minute right. meeting, but to go over your whole budget with every one of them would take a lot of time. Right. Yes, I highly suggest that the commissioners and the judge take this notebook that you have start going through it and put little stickies on there. I want to talk to this department. This looks ex this looks way out of what we would like to do. <coughs> we all probably come up to the same conclusions. You know, this department is asking for more than we could possibly give them. And maybe concentrate on those. Um, there are a few departments that don't want anything. In the auditor section of it, you're going to have all of the backup that I do, like Fund 1089, a bunch of it. Feel free to go through it. There's nothing extraordinary there at all. My budget for the auditor's office, I cut it a little bit. But there is, mine's really thick. Feel free to go through it, but it, those are the, the, the uh, funds that have to be self-sustaining. The revenue has to equal the, the expense. And so there's no really huge changes in those at all. But that, maybe that's a, a way to start looking at this. Adult and juvenile. There's their state-based grants. Don't waste your time on State-based money, sorry, not a grant. Anybody else have anything they want to add? Any other department? I just like what she said, maybe because y'all now have a copy of everybody's proposal. Go through it. Like she said, if you see something you have a question about, put a sticky note on it. And then either y'all get together or who, whatever, go to that person and say, okay, I have a question about this. We can take this and turn it into this and make it a lot easier. You agree, Judge? I mean, 
We're throwing out a big net to catch a little fish. Okay? We're throwing out a big net to catch a little fish. Why don't I'm not a commissioner. I'm nobody over there that sits over there. But I I believe it's y'all's job to rein in things that are out of line. So maybe you need to look for the things that are out of line. And that's what we just got. And you know, I think you know, I think we need to you know, go you know, go go further. What you're saying, Jeff, is you know, the commissioners take this document we just got, and we spend some time on it. And like you say, we tag or flag you know the specific areas we want to go address, and then we go address those. Yes. Because I may have a specific you know question that you know Dave may not have, or he may have a question that I don't have. But then, but at least we can identify what we need to go physically address each one. That's my thought. And there, there are over 30 new positions. So you got your homework cut out for you. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. And it, is it like it was last year? We start looking at the specific problem areas or questionable areas, not problem areas, almost, that's a bad word. But, you know, the specific questions that we need to get answers on. I think you'll cut down on the workload by doing right. that one. So that's... Well, and I think that's what we've always done. Nobody's darkened your door. I think that that's kind of <laughs> what we're doing here my door this year. is by breaking this thing down. I'm looking forward to that. We can you just talk. <laughs> by breaking this down, I, I think that... <coughs> I don't see how this can be a bad thing because it doesn't take any of this other stuff away, period. It just gets us more uh, intimate with each of those departments. I don't see I don't see this being a bad thing no. in any no, way. I don't, see Josh, that. You I don't know, think it's a bad thing. Our office serves openly serves the people. Our door is open to a certain extent because there is stuff in there that the public doesn't even see. But still, y'all are more than welcome to come in at any time. Look and see what my clerks do, see what they do on a daily basis, and maybe you'll have a better understanding of what's in their budget. Mm -hmm. I really think we have to do both. I mean, we obviously have to go through the entire thing yeah. and flag things that we have questions with. Exactly. But I like the idea of as Kevin just articulated of breaking it up and getting more familiar with those. I'll go sit in Andy's office. Come on in. <laughs> no, no, you can come sit in my side of the office. <laughs> yeah, you come to my office all the time. <laughs> there's a difference. I've been in your side out in Acton, too, yes. so there's... Yeah. Come on uh, over. I, I know, I've seen some of that. So yeah, there. just stay away from Kristen, but come on over. Operation <laughs> side. I, I think something that this is providing, I think Kevin kind of just finally touched on it, is so far we've been talking about making big asks and big changes and that's something that all the commissioners need to be paying attention to but if you do divide it up and get that deeper dive you might be able to look at you, you've heard the old story about the woman that cut the ends off her ham right mm -hmm. uh, there's oh well it's, it's basically a story of we do this because we've always done this and so um, we may be looking, y'all are going to catch the big things, the new things, but you may not catch the things that we've been doing this for the last 15 years because we've been doing it for the last 15 years. And oh, look, we could actually cut this out or move something around. We might be missing um, some opportunities to save some money in some areas or maybe configure things a little bit better that has been in there just because it's, it's not been caught because, well, they've done it the last five, 10 years. Um, and, and so those things that are just traditional can be looked at if you get that deeper dive. You're not going to get if you're just looking for the big changes. But if you get that individual one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you might be able to find some opportunities for maybe some savings that uh, you wouldn't otherwise catch. Anybody have anything well, it else? It sounds to me like some of the department heads are being uh, pushed to, uh, like they're not getting a lot of attention, you know, from all of you. And I, I, I this is the first time I've like even been interested in the budget process. And so this seems like, I don't know, why didn't you just like, I, I don't know the right answer. I, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing because you're gonna go do what you want to anyway. So I don't see the point really. I guess that's the point, I don't see the point. Cause y'all are gonna go 
see if, if you're going to make a point to go see people that you might not have seen. Why? I mean, I don't know. I don't understand. What do you mean to spend more time? Spend more time with these individual apartments. But you can do that now without having um, a list of people you have to go see. So I don't know if that's been done in the past. It's just like you. Right. So uh, it has not. We'll try that first. I have 15 minute window to stand up and explain to why you want over. things. So, so if you only have that 15 minutes to explain to the whole court oh, I, what you want, I feel, and I mean, I get where you're coming I'm from, saying, but it does. It feels like you're being ignored. I mean, if nobody comes, well, I don't want to say you. ignored. Well, but. no, but I mean, you know, but they're not. I mean, some of these other department heads have a talk to all of them, right. and I don't know why they're not. Well, they're the, making the effort. Yeah. I mean, Who's making the effort? I mean, the department really just depends. The department. Okay. The department, as, as Jennifer said, you know, she came and talked to us about the mobile. And there has been some departments, have, since the five months that I've been here, some departments haven't had a thing that they need to come an issue or a budget reason or something. I mean, I just, I want. never have to go speak to commissioners, rarely, ever, do I have mm -hmm. to go. So, Except during budget, is that what you're saying? I mean, most of the time I've not asked for anything other than what I had, so, you know, it is nice for them to be able to come in, even if I am asking for the same, it would be nice for them to come in and speak to me about it to find out why is it the same? Do we need to do something different? Do you need to lower this or raise this? That would be great, but I've never asked for more than, so. Yeah, it just seems like the commissioner should do a better job <coughs> searching out y'all, not well, and well, we also had a I, I think where it comes in, so each one of the commissioners have a finite amount of time. And it's safe to say a finite amount of time. They all have a limited amount of time to get stuff done. And I suspect every one of the commissioners, even the judge, will say, talk, I'm going to pick on the sheriff. We'll talk to the sheriff because he has a huge budget. But, and I don't see Linda here, who's going to go talk to Linda Mallion, the Veterans Administrator mm -hmm. in Office of One? She doesn't have any changes. Okay, <laughs> well, okay so she doesn't have any changes. She's but, one of the ones that. Right, which makes her easy to pick on. So nobody's going to go talk to her because she has no changes. But if she's assigned to somebody, somebody's going to go and talk to her and find out is she not asking for changes just because she's throwing her hands up or because she doesn't need any. Maybe she has some rooms where she can cut back or add, but because no one's having that conversation with her because she's small um, and, and isn't proposing anything, now this is going to force at least one person on the commissioner's court to go and talk to her. Well, I think they should all go, to, or at least it's, give her a phone but, call. But they don't all have, they don't have time because... They See, I don't buy that. I, they they do have the time. You make the time for things yeah. that are important. Okay, wait a second. Wait I a think second. there's time. No, no commissioner so, hours, or the judge or anybody day. else has ever said, no, don't come see me. Right. Right. I have, I, have, I have walked into every one of them offices. I have never come to court with something and never walked to that podium and that I didn't already discuss with mm -hmm. everybody on the court. True. I've never asked for anything that everybody didn't know that it was already coming because that's the way, that's, that, mm -hmm. that way everybody has that face to face. Everybody knows what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fine. Uh, now, there's been some points brought up here today. I still don't, mm -hmm. I still don't know that this is a good thing, but if uh, I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear uh, Commissioner Eagles. I'd like to hear his little matrix he's met, he yes done here and find out who's 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 who. So to I don't speak. have it. I couldn't get it either. Well, and really, truth be told, I spent I 15 years it. trying not to get called on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like getting called to the office because I. It makes me a little nervous when I get a call from a commissioner that says, hey, can you come down and see me? I'm like, oh, crap, what did I do now? <laughs> <laughs> I would love for them to call me. But, to me. but on, the, on the flip side of that, I would like to think that, that <coughs> the commissioner's court has made wise decisions in hiring the people they have in these places and, and trust them to do the job they've been hired to do at the same time. So. I don't think it, people I, keep saying this is a good thing or a bad thing. Why does it have to be one or the other? Why can't it just be a process, a routine that needs to be done? It doesn't have to be good or bad. If I were, if I were, I mean, I don't live here, but it's giving each department and the commission accountability with each other. And I, would, you can. I think that would be a bad thing. I don't think we can call it good or bad. Why can't it just be something that we decide to implement? This is 
this is a new process we want to do or we don't want to do. It doesn't have to be good, it doesn't have to be bad. I don't see the good or the you know, one or the other. It's just something new. And if it doesn't work, don't do it. Again. Exactly. <laughs> well, it was also talked about, I think, in the workshop on um, whether to split this up four ways or five ways. Did, did you decide you didn't want to be a part of it? So oh, I said I'm going to do what I always do. It's really the county judge's initial draft of the budget anyway. So Becky Kidd and I have always worked very closely together to come up with an initial budget. And what I've always done is to talk to Becky. We look at the previous budgets, what has been done. But I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm wondering why you didn't, why there's not five groups that do all you right. anyway. You're going to do, oh, you're going to yeah. do all of them anyway. Well, but aren't they all? He's the budget. He's smart. Yeah. Officer. I'm going to look at all of them. Okay, no. but I mean, so are they. Mm -hmm. Well, we're doing our job. That's exactly what. Yeah. But everybody's going to look at all of them, right? Yeah. That's your yeah, I'm going to look at all of them. I mean, if you look at the I book mean, being spent wisely, yeah. Right. You know, the, you know, the book that Becky handed out prior, uh -huh. I've got all kinds of sticky notes on it already. I mean, you know, I mean it's, you know, it's in my office. Anybody wants to see it? It's there. You've got, I've got marks on it. I'm already looking at all of that in each department. And that's kind of what it boils down to. You do your job. You do your job. You're elected officials. If you got a question about something, go ask. You have that right. You know, and then you make an educated decision together. We vote. No crazy concept. Do your jobs, right? It's a waste of time. Anything else? I'm going to address, uh, if you don't mind, Judge, um, Judge Howell's comment. Uh, I should have known that putting this together would create controversy. I don't apparently can't get up in the morning without being controversial. Uh, but I will reiterate the impetus for this. Uh, and it was an idea that was sprung to me from our county attorney about five years ago when I first got <coughs> And uh, according to the statute, the judge is a CFO. He's the chief financial officer. And he works with the auditor who actually she's under the district judge, which is the check and balance there. There's a reason for that. And they work together They, in the past, traditionally, We've been presented with a budget, and then we just go through it. Mr. Mills said, why don't y'all split it up where you get more familiar, because it is a big budget. There, is, there are a lot of details that need to be found out. And so the idea, is just like in the real world, if you've got a big job to do, and you've got the personnel, you split it up, and take each one of you take a piece of, of the task. So that was the whole idea behind this, and uh, you know, I thought I would bring it up again, float it out there, and I just went through and randomly put these together and tried to, I knew we were all working with the Sheriff's Department, and I felt like that was a good idea because the Sheriff's Department is the greater part of our entire budget, and uh, it's also an essential service. It's something that we have to, We've agreed as a culture that we are going to pro provide law enforcement. So it is a big, it is a bigger part of the pie because you're looking at the jail, and you're looking at dispatch, and you're looking at patrol, and uh, you're looking at the whole package with the sheriff's department, animal control. Uh, the other breakdowns is that is just putting it, putting it. It's I came up with about seven million dollars for four of us. And again, the judge is, he's, he's kind of the, like the, C, he's the CFO, so he's, he's at the top of the pyramid, so to speak. And my idea was just to give everybody a chance, if each department knows a specific commissioner is assigned with them, that we think, for instance, let's say I'm a get with Don Lenny. Don Lenny's going to come to all of us if, with specific issues. He always does. 
And, and there are certain people that do come to all of us, but sometimes everybody cannot do that. And so uh, this was just, I mean, I didn't <coughs> need to upset the apple cart. I'm finding out with government, it, it doesn't take much to do that. But uh, this is just an idea. I don't see how it can take away from what we're doing because we do have a duty to look at the whole picture. Uh, and I don't argue with that point. But when we start, when the budget cycle, when we get closer and closer to, we don't know what the tax rates, we don't know what kind of revenue we're going to have yet. There's a lot of things we do not know until the appraisal district does their thing. And, uh, and that's July 25th. And that's July 25th. So we've got two months now, a little over two months, to try to, for us to hone in on this. And to me, it would be nice if Jack was more into connecting with certain uh, departments where he can maybe fill in gaps that I don't get, and vice versa. But maybe it's crazy. Maybe we shouldn't do any of this. Maybe we leave everything like it is and never change. That's okay, too. I have an idea. For whatever it's worth, what I do with the judge is we sit down with our books, and we go department by department, and we talk about it. So he's aware of everything. We do it department by department. You can take the books you have and divide them in half, leave the sheriff out, because you all are going to probably want to talk to him. <clears throat> and then take the first half, sit together, and go, now this is way out of line. Then the two of you can be on the same page about that department. Now, Jack, if you want to go through the whole thing, that's fine, but that would give you what they want right now. Oh, real. Yeah, what they want right now, and two of you could discuss it and go, we're on the same page, we think this is excessive, or maybe they're not asking for enough. And then y'all contact that. It's just a suggestion. That might be an easier way, since now you have what they want in front of you. Y'all, you know, Jack and Kevin can take the other half. That might, that's just a suggestion to then you won't be, maybe you won't have to go to every department. You'll look at some and go, well, they're not asking for much at all. We won't waste their time. It's just a suggestion. I'm just trying to help. I appreciate that. I'm, that's, that's why we're doing this. This, this is just a suggestion. In my opinion, before we get to this, you know, list, you know, the four of us need to spend some time on what we just got. And then maybe we revisit this, you know, in, in a week or so, you know, where we've had time to start, you know, going through this and looking at the different, you know, areas, you know, of specific areas that need some attention, more attention than normal. You got a lot of new employees in this list. Listed. How many? How many proposed total employees? It's over now? thirty. Boy, thirty-two. I, I, I'm just trying. Just to, more than thirty. I, yeah, I'm trying. To, so you know that ain't gonna be the right answer. And you know the and our personnel is the biggest expenditure. That's the biggest expense in the county is employees. Twenty-three million. It's also the biggest asset we have yeah. in the county. Even more so. The people, the people that work in those offices every day is the biggest asset we have in this county. Yes, Correct. they are. They're Correct. Sure they move. And as the you know, the meeting that we've had with the sheriff's department, you know, they've already voiced their needs for personnel in each of the areas that we've dealt with. And so those areas, I mean, we've got those kind of, that kind of information. And that, some of it's significant because of the county growth, where we're at today, where we're forecast to be in the next six years, and where we're forecast to be in the next 16 years. So we've got to start looking you know, Forward. at the whole picture. You just have to remember that that growth up, affects not just the sheriff's department, but everybody in this room. It affects us. It affects Becky. It affects her. It affects Tom. It affects everybody in this room, not just the sheriff's department. I understand that. If you want the true numbers on growth, Ask Andy how much every month their revenue goes up in car tax. When I started, it was 800000 a month. Now they're over $2 million that they're bringing in every month. That's a, no, we don't get all that money. But they still do the work to get that money. So that's, that's where we're 
that's one of the areas I look at when I look at growth is what volume they do. Because that tells a good picture for even your department. Too. I get over a, over 100 new cases filed every month. Yep. In my little bitty court. I went to the little report. In my little bitty court. Yep. I get over 100 cases filed every month. Can I just say, I would just personally like a decision to be made today because there's a lot of workshops going on. We can't always take time out of what we're doing to come to workshops for an hour, two hours, three hours. So if we can make a decision, go with it or don't go with it. I agree. Thank you. Well, golfer, I mean, we've already all turned in our budget. So now it's just looking at them all saying yes or no. <laughs> Well, I didn't see the Citizens Collection Station anywhere on that. Because you're special, Jenny. <laughs> I mean, you have environmental health, and that's basically that budget, but nowhere on the breakdown. And I mean, I'm presuming, you know, it would probably be with the same commissioner or whatever, but those are two totally different departments. Well, and I, and I stated when I brought this up that I, there, everything wasn't on here. And the collection state, station is pretty much, a, you know, a there's not really much change going on with that issue. No. And just like with Becky, she's not really, her budget is, it's a hybrid budget considering she's under the district judge. So there were, I, you know, I said that there were some things off there. That's why I made this a draft was so that somebody could look at it, go, where's this, where's that, let's get it on here, and nothing ever happened with that. So, uh, again, I'm just trying to break it up where we can all get a better feel of certain departments. This is my fifth year in service, and the budget has always been overwhelming to me, trying to get my hands around it, and debt service, I, INS, and fund balance, and all, this, all the, the bookkeeping side of it, much less the department side. And for instance, I've gone through the commissioner's budget, you know, and I've come up with some slight, but some cuts. And I guess one question I would ask all the departments, have y'all gone through your budget and found anything you can cut? Any supplies, any Anything that's there every at the end of every year that still hadn't been used at all? Have y'all have all the departments done that? Have any of the departments done that? Yes. So we got one here. So those are the kind of things. Mine. Huh? I cut in my budget. So we've got, you know, it's again, if if you want to leave the status quo where it is, mm -hmm. and you know, that's I, like I said, I'm just I'm just bringing up a something that I thought would be helpful. To, Becky, number one, and number two, helpful to everybody involved. And if it's, if you don't think it is, uh, there's five, four, five of us on the court. The judges are, he's the big boss of all of it anyway. But the other four commissioners, if, if y'all don't want to try something else, that's okay too. The what if we just approve the list as it is now, and then next year we, okay, well, maybe we modify it next year. And here's the other thought. We're on here for four years. If we, if we did break it up into quarters, over the four year period, we each get a different group. Again, this is just a, this is like the rough draft of a pleading or something. Heck, I, you know, I mean, I just put this together. I mean, I spent the better part of the day on it, going through the, you know, the, the budget with the department and trying to piece it together. But, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's again, it's a work in progress. The problem I see with this is, is that um, it would require another workshop mm -hmm. for y'all to talk about what you discovered. No, we're going to do that. We're going to do that, yeah. How much time does each department have and how much? I 15 mean, minutes. How, yeah, so you can't discuss what you learn from every department with your other commissioners and the judge, you can't, you won't have time. That 15 minutes is a hard stop. 
I'm just thinking that you would, it would be nice that everybody had a working, a really deep, in-depth knowledge if it was all split up equally, however you all decide, if you decide to do this. But it seems like it would require another workshop, so you, you, because you can't speak freely without being in a workshop. So how are you going to convey what you learned to your other commissioners without having another workshop? Having more discussion about the budget is a bad thing. No, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, that, that is another process, and y'all haven't even discussed, I mean, y'all haven't talked about how you're going to get this information out to each other. You, I, I just don't see it happening in, in 15 minute time slots. Well, I'm and, thinking and without this, time. we've still got the 15 minute time slots, and nobody's focused in right. mm -hmm. on, on that one. Well, I mean, it's. You'll be making a decision off of a rough draft. Yeah, not a doctor. Well, okay. I mean, come on. I mean, like, it, it's. It's uh, you're not fully educated yeah, on what's going on. Never done this. Well, so until until, until, until you get fully educated, you can't really make it an, an educated decision, can you? I'm sorry. Say it again. Uh, until you educate yourself, you can't really make an educated decision, can you? Well, that's the point. Well, exactly. So so we sh we should make a decision off of a rough draft. Okay, gonna start somewhere. Again, I highly encourage you to work. <coughs> together, two of you, go through the book, you're going to get a way better understanding of what people want. And you could focus in on certain departments, for sure. There are some that just won't need it, but I'm just trying to help you guys. How is that Well, my only issue is, if you do this, like, I, I, I haven't seen the list, so I don't know which one, <coughs> which one of y'all would be coming to talk to us. So well, let, let, me, let me address that. I'll but, go ahead and finish, and then I gotta, I'm gotta. i address that. Because I know everybody's ready to get out of here. Um, one of you come and talk to us and spend time with us, but then the other three need to be brought up to speed with what you saw. So yeah, whether- They can't do that, they can't do that without can't. a workshop. Yeah, correct. They can't, so y'all can't talk to each other without mm -hmm. having an actual meeting. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down they they can give little facts to each other, they just can't discuss what they're going to vote on. The commissioners can talk all they want to each other and discuss facts. They just can't come up with a plan or collude no. to do no. something. I don't, I, you know, Becky, I think you're, I, I think you're on something, so, or on to something. <laughs> 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 I think having two commissioners for each department is probably a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. So how about we break this up the way that you've done it, with each of us getting one, and then two of us come together and discuss what we've go put together so far, and then go and address those. You know, I mean, if we're if we're sitting here with not much going on, you know, don't worry about it. But uh, you know, Dave and I are working with the sheriff's department. We're meeting together with them, so maybe we say, okay, let's work together on this. I, you know. Everything over here, not really any changes. This looks pretty smooth, but this one over here, this is a little bit more. Let's sit and talk about that, and then maybe both of us go meet with that department head and discuss that thing. And you'll get a really good idea of what people want and who you want to talk to. Right, and then and then you'll have two commissioners in court that have discussed that one particular issue, and yeah. So you're saying I'm kind of a hybrid of this. Yeah, yeah. Still, everybody take one unit. But then two of us work together. Well, I'll take units three because I, like yeah. I, I have an IT background and I want to, I want to talk to you. You know what? I, I haven't really even looked at it, but I, I'm, I'll make a motion that we just each of us get whatever unit goes with our precinct. Like I'll take unit one. Then that, oh, you want to get three. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Because how are you going to keep the integrity of the selection? What's that? There you go. How do you keep the integrity of the selections? Mm -hmm. Like what unit you're going to get? How do you keep the integrity of that? Because everybody's built relationships with each other. Right. We're all truly if you're going to What this has done has highlighted the fact that each of us four commissioners need to get out of the office and go knock on the doors. And I think that's, you know, we spend some time with what we just got and we go knock on doors. Well, I think vice versa. I think it's highlighted that 
if you've got some changes in your budget that you want to make sure we all know, it's incumbent on the elected official or the appointed official to come and explain. And so both ways. I think there needs to be two-way communication. The only problem with that, and that's a great idea, the only problem with that, on some of these issues, it may be hard to explain verbally. Some things you need to see. Physically, the environment, some things you need to see. Because I can walk in your office and say, Danette, what's wrong? Danette, what's wrong? I mean, it's just crazy. But until you walk in the office and see piles of files on the floor. And I've done that in the district clerk's office more than twice. So you understand what I'm saying? Until you visually <coughs> see, you, it. you can't take in what we're trying to do. That's it. Yes, us coming to speak to you is great, but until you physically see, got it. Okay. I definitely do not think that the commissioner should pick and choose which unit they get. Mm -hmm. I think that I think one, two, three, four, if we're gonna go with four units, a foot and a half, everybody pick out a number. Next. I think it's a good idea for people who have extensive background in a certain area. You can still go see them. Oh. You don't have to have them as, as your I mean you could draw that number. Well it should be what Commissioner Eagle mentioned earlier that okay. Commissioner Andrews gets this unit one this year. The next year, Commissioner Andrews would have a different group in order for him to expand the knowledge of the different departments. And if they do that, then in their time frame of serving as commissioner, they should have viewed each department and know something about every one. I mean, I've worked with all four of them, and Miss Emerson hadn't been on the court that long. So it's, it's easy for each um, commissioner to work with everybody. So it, it shouldn't matter how they divide it up. Eventually, they'll each get a chance to work with them. If this works out. I, I just don't see how it's a bad thing. No. Oh, well. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Commissioner Andrews make a real motion? No. no. We can't make a real motion. Yeah, this yeah, special yeah, yeah. So I will make a real motion. <laughs> I move that we divide this up the way that it's presented, and I've got pieces of paper over here, one through four on it. We all just draw a piece of paper, and that'll tell you which commissioner gets which unit. There you go. There you go. I second them. Hope you got a hat. All right. Precincts one through four ballots and a hat, yep. and uh, that we go draw that which draw. commissioner gets what number corresponding to the uh, matrix here that was prepared by Commissioner Eagle. Uh, get that one. And then next year, you get a different one from that, and then going on till after four years, you will have done every department in the county. Second by Commissioner Eagle. Any further discussion? Just to say that that doesn't prevent any commissioner or the judge from talking to any department or department coming to talk to you. Now, that's what I've said all along, that I will continue doing my job and we'll talk to every department, like I always have, and that it doesn't prevent any commissioner from seeing any other department head and asking any questions that they want to ask. Nor so, does it prevent other department head from coming to a commissioner. So no commissioner has ultimate control of the department, right? That's right. Perfect. That's right. Okay. okay. Minimize that control. All right. Any further discussion? Yeah, one thing I'll say, you know, Kevin and Dave are sitting, meeting with the Sheriff's Department, I mean, and Nanette and I are meeting with the Sheriff's Department weekly. You know, we're fixing to have meeting number four, you know, you know, for that. I mean, so this is an ongoing thing, and we've got, you know, two more sessions already scheduled, just like they have two more te sessions already scheduled. So, you know, and there's been some things, you know, brought out during those meetings that we've already had, you know, 
that you know, are you know, going to be addressed beyond what's on this list. Okay. Yeah, well, the sheriff's department was excluded from the four. We're all doing the sheriff's right. department. Okay. Don't you feel special? And I don't want to draw. I do. The sheriff says it enough that the sheriff feels very special about it. It doesn't this. make any difference. Sir. Yes, I'm going to call that. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Anybody I need to work with. Okay. All right. Now, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Motion carries unanimously five to zero. Now, you get to play first. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't be cheating. Can you pull out the section as you draw it? Okay. Mr. Wilson. It's whatever they don't get. That's right. I think you're one. Sorry, Bruce. You got me. What number did you get? All right. For the record, what did you get? Three. Mr. Sanderson got three. Two. Commissioner Andrews has got two. Commissioner Wilson. Four. Four. Commissioner Eagle. I got one. One. It's Bill list is on the website. Oh. <laughs> I think we're on the Okay, there will be no further business. <coughs> At 11.01 and 40 seconds, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs>